Junkies, Dawes, Subbies, and my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. As you see down below, this is going to be a new thrift haul. <laughs> um, I have done some thrifting lately. All the great deals that I got and all the awesome things that I found. I've been getting rid of a lot of things because, you know, it's about to be spring and summer. So, I do need to get rid of some things to donate and um, also... Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so I did donate a lot of stuff, and then I still have some that I'm going to be posting on my page. So if you want to know any of that or what I will be posting, I will post the link down below. So yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started because I'm excited to show you the awesome things that I found. Also, there is one item that um, it's also considered like a bargain item. Because it didn't come from a thrift store, it came from a bargain store, almost. But I had to show you that because it was only the one thing, so I decided to include it in here because I think I'm going to wear it for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Um, first things first, let's see. I went to Plato's Closet. Plato's Closet is kind of... Um, I guess a consignment shop if you want to say so. It is a consignment shop because you can take your stuff there and sell it or you can take it there and switch it for something else. Everything that is usually sold at Plato's Closet is second hand, third hand, fourth hand um, stuff. So yes, it might not be a thrift store but it is a consignment shop because you can sell your used items there. So um, I did have stuff that I wanted to get rid of and I was like, well, I take the money when I can probably find something else. And so I found other stuff. Um, first thing, I found this kind of um, sheer, it's kind of almost like a vintage because as most of you all know, I do love vintage and retro styles. I'm very much into that. So um, when I seen this, I liked it. It's kind of like a lace Bella shirt with... Um, it kind of flares. It's a double. It is by New Directions, which I think that is a Target. I think that's in Target, but this is what it looks like. And it is just pink. It is a little big on me, but that's okay because I can wear a pair of um, leggings, skinny jeans. I can even wear some jean shorts underneath this, but I thought this was really cute pink and I got it for six dollars so that's not bad and this is going to be something great to wear during um the summertime especially in Florida <laughs> so I thought that was not a bad deal I, I I like this um Siobhan almost looking like but it it to me it does remind me of like the vintage styles of how their dresses and stuff used to be so I like that <clears throat> Next is this red shirt that I also got there from Plato's Closet. I paid, oh wow, I didn't know I paid that much for it. No. <laughs> it was $10. It is by Rock and Republic. I've never heard of that before. If y'all have, just let me know. But um, it is this kind of like silk red shirt and it has a, like beading designs on the front of it it's really big on me because I can wear it almost like a dress but um, it does come to my hiney area so I am gonna have to wear something underneath of it up top like the back of it it zips down and it's almost like a t-shirt so it's gonna show like my whole um, shoulder part up here along with my arm so I thought that was pretty cool because you know it's gonna be very cool for spring and summer you know I won't be too hot I can wear it as is or I can wear a jacket over it but I thought it was really cool cool and especially me having tattoos and it being like this on the back I just thought that was so cool because you'll be able to see my swans and stuff, my swans my sparrows and stuff <laughs> but yeah that's it right there but yeah if you've ever ever heard of this name before if you don't mind just let me know also another thing I don't know if y'all have but um I have a vented account which I'm gonna have to check because it's messing up on my phone. Anyway, some items I do sell up there. And you can buy other people's items. Um, which are second hand, third hand stuff. So I found this. The girl, she was asking $5 for it. But I got it for $2. And it is an Owl wallet. And you can tell it has been used. Because it's kind of like, you know, tarnished up there. 
corners. And then you just open it up and it looks like this. And then this is a checkbook item. You know, you can put your checks and stuff in here, which I thought it was cute. And it's actually from Charming Charlie's. I love Charming Charlie's because it's nice, gorgeous jewelry. And you don't pay an arm and a leg for it. So I thought that was pretty cool because we have a Charming Charlie's at my mall. So I thought that was awesome. I got this for $2 and paid a dollar and something for shipping. So that was not bad. Um, next I went to just a regular thrift store, um, not a Goodwill or anything. It was like one of the local thrift stores back at home when I went up there for my birthday. So I'm going to show you some of the items that I found. First thing, I just found these pair of New York Company gray shorts, which were pretty cool. And they're just like kind of, almost kind of like a khaki gray material. And on the back of it, it it's kind of messed up right there, but it's okay because I can always fix them. But that's not bad. I think these are going to be cool. I need some new shorts and stuff for spring and summer. And they're a little big on me, so I like that because they're the bigger, you know, the bigger size shorts. And then I can tuck my shirts in or do whatever, however I want to. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Next, I found this, um... I posted this too, so most of y'all probably have seen it already, but it is a Shirley Lee, Shirley, um, leather clutch bag, and this is what it looks like, and I got it for $2, so it's like a leather clutch, then you can twirl that, up, oh, the other way, <laughs> and it opens up like that, and it also zips, and I love the inside of it, look at that. The inside is so cool, and let me show you the name. There it goes. I checked out the website, and um, yeah, the, I mean, their clutches and stuff are not bad. They can go all the way up to like $80, but I was glad that I only paid $2 for this because I found one that was similar to this, and it was $69. So I was very, very happy. It could, you know, most of their clutches, like the leather ones, it was between $59 and $69. Um, the bigger ones is when they cost more. But I got this for $2, so I thought that was an awesome deal. Also, at the consignment shop, I found this sweater right here. And this is what it looks like. It is just the top laced into a ribbon almost. And it is a thin black sweater. I think this is cool even though, you know, I live further down south. Um, it has been a little cold. The weather here has been flip-floppy. But the material is really thin to where... I can still wear it now, and even if I want to wear it during the springtime, I could. So I thought that was pretty cool. And the back of it is like this. And I only paid a dollar and fifty cents for this. <coughs> okay. So next is a Goodwill. I went to two different Goodwills. I went to my local Goodwill, and then I went to the Goodwill in Brunswick, because as most of you all know, um, I've been rearranging my house, changing it. Last week, I was really sick. I couldn't do anything. It's funny. After my birthday, I get sick. I know. Sorry. My hair is like everywhere. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this week, I've been feeling a little better, so I've been trying to find some houseware items at the thrift store and stuff, and I did, so I'm excited, because... My house is looking nice. <laughs> so, um, next I want to try to do something in here because on this side, I want to maybe find like a dresser and stuff, but I got to wait for the mailman to get here because my hair is supposed to be coming in. Yes, I bought some clip-ins, some pro extension hair. So I'm excited about that because I get to have long hair for the summer. <laughs> anyway, so this Goodwill is from the Brunswick County. Um, first I got this kind of like it's a scarf my bad I went totally blank and it is like a rusted brown one and this is what it looks like and it does have a little hole right there but it's okay and this one was $1.99 at the Goodwill yay so I thought that was pretty cool I like that and it's thick and it's he well not really heavy but you know if it gets cold and stuff it'll be able to Ooh, keep me warm. Like it's going to get cold. Well, it is kind of cold today, right? Yeah. <laughs> Next, I found this purple shirt. And it is by Expression Design Studio. And this is what it looks like. 
I don't know what it's made out of because it. Yeah, but this is what it looks like right here. It's purple. I like the little shoulders, the little ruffles, and then it goes down. So this would be really cool with a pair of pants, a pair of shorts, and stuff. Oh, look at that. Y'all can see all my goodies. Hello, how are you doing? Let's see. There. Is it good? Can you see me? Okay. Y'all seen all my cookies? My cookies. My cookies. Not my cookies. Okay, anyways. So, this is what it looks like right here. So, I thought that's pretty cool. And then if you open it up, it has like that little extra piece so you can't see no ta-tas. Uh, and it also zips on the side. It was, what color is this? No. Was it Green Day? I think it was Purple Day. So, I paid full price for this, which was $2.49. I know. Next, I found this shirt right here. This one's a green one, too. I couldn't resist. I'm going to go ahead and take the shoulder pads out of it. Ta-da! Look at the material. That's how the shirt looks. It's a shirt full of purses. Oops. Oh, well. It'll be okay, right? Yeah. Anyways, it also has... The Goodwill here, I don't know about all Goodwills, but the Goodwills here, they have tags like this, if you can see. So it lets you know what day it is. Like if it's Green Day, I get 50% off. Then I've had a coupon, I can get an extra 10% off. So the different tags is for different colors. Each Sunday, they change different colors. But it was purple, if I'm not mistaken, this week. <coughs> Sorry. That was nasty. <coughs> It'll be okay. Okay, anyways, I found this purple sheer shirt, and it has purses all over it, like different colored purses. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Very girly. I think I'm going to put it on my little mannequin back there, because she needs to be fixed up a little bit. I thought I heard something. <laughs> so, yeah, I paid $2.49 for this, too. All right. Next is this jacket material almost. I thought this was pretty cool too. Because it's very all timey. Yeah. And I actually got this one for 50% off. Because it had a purple tag on it. And this is what it looks like. Kind of like a leopard or whatever. And then in the back it ties. So, you can kind of wear this as a shirt, or you can kind of wear this as a jacket. So, I end up getting this one for, I think it was $1.49 if I'm not mistaken. So, I thought that was not bad. And last but not least, from the Brunswick one, the Goodwill, I got this pink shirt. And this pink shirt is a green one. So, I paid $2.49 for this one. And I just like this because, like I said, again, I can wear it with skinny jeans or I can tuck it in a high-waisted skirt. And I love the ruffles up top. I'm such a fan. For ruffles, anything sheer, and anything polka dotty. Polka dotty. Polka dotty. Polka dotty. Polka dotty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last but not least, from my Goodwill. Goodwill receipts. Goodwill receipts. All right, so the other thing that I got is this other pink sheer shirt, and I paid $1.49 for this one, too, and it is pink sheer, my favorite, with lace, and it's polka dotty. <laughs> Ta-da! And this is from Maurice's, so yeah, I think Maurice's is actually a store because there's one at Dillard's inside Myrtle Beach, but yeah, it's this one. And I like this. It's very pretty. And I tried it on so it's a little bigger on me. So that's pretty cool. Next is this other shirt. And it is polka dotty. You know, it's either a shirt or a jacket. And it has like all these little medallions and stuff up here. Medallions. Medallions. Like these shimmery things. But I think I'm going to do a DIY project on this. And that's what it looks like. You see the little polka dotties? I mean, like the little jewels and stuff. The jewels. But yeah. And it has shoulder pads, but I'm taking the shoulder pads out. Or I can just wear this as a jacket and put a T underneath of it or something. But yeah. 
that's what it looks like. And um, this one I paid a dollar and forty nine cents for this one too. So I thought that was pretty cool. And also I found me some jewelry. Some jewelry. Okay. The first the jewelry is this gold necklace. I got this for fifty cents. And it has like the little balls at the end of it. Well, all in it. So I thought that was pretty cool too. 50 cents, that's not bad. You can never go wrong with pieces like this because they can all, you can always like, um, build, you know, add so many. Build, build. Then I found this other one and I paid $1.99 for this one. And this is what this one looks like. Look at that, that's pretty, ain't it? Let me see if I can show you the ball, too. I had to make my camera focus. So I'm gonna look a little funny back here, probably. And then next is this one, and I think this one is actually a bracelet, and I paid 99 cents for this one. Do I look funny back here? So that is the jewelry. Then I found these shoes right here. And they are from Nine West. And they are $4.99. They were $4.99, and that's what they look like. So I thought that was pretty cool. I like these because I don't have anything like these, and I think these would be cute. Like, you know, um, Maxi dresses, maxi skirts, however, even with a pair of skinny jeans, even with some shorts, too. Even on St. Patrick's Day, because it's green. <laughs> so, that is all my thrift haul for this video, but I have one more item that I want to show you, and I couldn't resist it, because when I went there, I found um, two things that I wanted for my house that day and I forgot to show you all. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now. This is so cute. Um, I would really like a Celine bag like this, but a Celine bag is kind of pricey and um, I just don't want to pay that amount right now. So I found a substitute. Target did have some, but when I went to Target, I didn't really find them. So guess what? I found this one. The original price was almost um, $40. And I got this for $19. So it is just a green bag. And this is what it looks like. And it is by MMS. So I like that. I like how the outsides go out. And it's got gold essentials. It's got a zipper in the back. It is a long... <laughs> it is a long shoulder. I can cross it. Or I can even one shoulder it so it's kind of like your preference and I love how the gold is right here and then when you open it up that's how it looks like inside so I thought this is something cool I don't really have anything green and sometimes I feel funny about paying $20 for a purse even but then again if it can come in handy and I know I can use it for a while and I know that I'll take kid care of it, then I don't mind. I always love finding purses at thrift stores, thrift stores, but lately my Goodwills around me have not been that good. Or even when I go there, they have been raising the prices in purses. So basically my Goodwill purses, I can get for the same one as this, and it kind of sucks because that's the reason why I go to Goodwill. So I won't have to pay full price. But for the past couple of weeks, I've noticed that the prices have been jumping up. And not only me, but a lot of people are like noticing it. Like, oh my goodness, Goodwill prices are getting expensive. They kind of are. And I asked someone that, that worked there before. I mean, I was working there. And she said, yes, the prices have gone up. Because a lot of people are coming to the Goodwill now. So Goodwill is getting more business. And also Goodwill helps people to look for jobs or help them get jobs and stuff like that. 
So prices are going to raise, but that's almost economy-wise. Prices are going to raise, just like Dollar Trees inside Florida. Some Dollar Trees that I went to, they're a Dollar Tree, but then they sell other items more than a dollar. So it's kind of like it's shocking to me. But anyways, that is my thrift haul. I am excited. I got great deals, great items, awesome colors and stuff to add in my collection. And so, yeah. Also, I do have a giveaway going on. If you have not checked it out yet, make sure you do so because it will be ending in about a week and a half. So yes, other than that, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel and I hope you hit that little button down there and subscribe because this channel is awesome and you get to find great deals, awesome clothes, and banging jewelry for great prices. So make sure you stay tuned. Until next time, peace, love, and happiness. Mm -hmm.